We're back on this Thursday morning on KID. Joining us is Lee Ellis, who served in the Air Force during the Vietnam War. His aircraft shot down over enemy territory, and he was held as a prisoner of war in various prisons in the Hanoi area for over five years and awarded various medals. Uh, His latest book, Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability. Lee Ellis, first of all, thank you for your service and uh, your sacrifice for our country, and thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thank you, Neil. It's good to be with you, and I appreciate your kind words. Uh, You know, I feel like uh, I'm one of the fortunate ones that were able to go to war and come back uh, safely and have a good life. So I've been reflecting this week on the ones who didn't, my buddies who didn't make it back, but thank you very much for having me. Well, we want to talk about um, your... Um, your concept of courageous accountability and um, in the context of the coming election. We know that uh, we're less than, um, well, we're now a couple of, less than a couple of months away. And uh, in fact, we're less than seven weeks away. And maybe talk about mm-hmm. what this means for uh, the voters and for Americans and, and how courageous accountability figures into the big choice that we will make on November 8th. Well, you know, in the book, I first couple of chapters, I talk about some of the problems in our culture today. Uh, we, I, when I wrote the book, I didn't have the Wells Fargo example, but we certainly uh, had many other ones of problems with the lack of accountability and a lack of honor in the leadership in the culture that was going on there. So there, we have a lot of problems. The reality is you and I can only address a very small portion of that, and that's the part that of ourselves that we are responsible for and those in our immediate uh, area of influence, if, for instance, in our office or workplace, that sort of thing. And that's where we have to bring ourselves to play is to set an example of what accountability looks like, what honor looks like, and really the fundamentals are character, courage, and commitment. Without uh, Everyone says they want to have good character. They have good character. Everybody believes they have good character, okay? People go to jail. I did some work in prisons. They all think they have good character. But the issue is, without courage and commitment, you'll not be able to actually live up to your beliefs about character and your own character. So it takes a lot of courage to do the right thing consistently, and we all mess up. We all get off track, and then it takes the courage to accept that and admit it and then get back on track right away. So that's the problem I think we have is people not being willing to say, hey, I messed up, I made a mistake, I'm correcting back, I'm going to do the right thing, I'm really committed to this and keep working at it. As we think about voting this year, I think it comes down to being willing to do the hard research. And this is going to be a very tough election for a lot of people uh, in that trying to figure out which way to go on this because they, for some people they may not think they have good options, but in reality there are some really big decisions at stake here. And what I'm hoping is that people will do their homework and understand what are the ramifications. What does it mean if I select this person? What does it mean if I select that person? Because it's going to have some great implications for our, our culture and society in the future. You know, one of the things that uh, you write is that you, you believe that there's a silent majority of people who believe in, in courageous accountability, that they want honor in our leaders. But if we look uh, back over the last year, um, who America chose uh, to run for the two major parties, sometimes, Lee, and maybe you can explain this, it it, it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like civility and... Um, and honor were were rewarded in our election in our election process, and maybe speak to that. Yeah, I think that's representative of the culture. I think it surprised everyone. Well, it didn't surprise anything on the Democrat side that Hillary Clinton would be the nominee. They were they pretty much all got in bed together early, and now I think it's probably some wish maybe they hadn't made that decision quite so quickly, but they probably didn't have any other. Uh, strong candidates out there at the time, and she's so well-known, has name recognition with the Clintons and having been in the White House. Yeah. Uh, on the other side, I think it is a was a big surprise that Donald Trump was able to everybody that Donald Trump was able to secure the nomination. But I think what it really reflected was that silent majority of people who are unhappy with the direction of the, comp- the country uh, just kind of stood their ground and said, we're not going to 
put up with this because our representatives have not been really representing us in the way that has been honorable and accountable. And it really has a lot to do with accountability of federal spending and the direction of the country and uh, and just providing leadership. I think a lot of Republicans feel like the leadership has not done them well in actually taking care of the country as opposed to taking care of themselves. So that's uh, I think that's what really has happened here. And with the media of the Internet and so on today and um, just the culture that we're in right now, the in-your-face part of it actually kind of fitted in with where people were feeling emotionally. All right, our guest this morning, uh, Lee Ellis. He's the author of Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability. It's a topic that's much larger than just a, a presidential election. And uh, Lee, uh, really quick, I, I mean, th- we could talk about this for so long, but uh, we're getting limited on our time. Where can people find your uh-huh. book? Well, it's on all the online stores, and uh, it's it's in, I know it's in some of the newsstands in the airports, and Probably some of the uh, Barnes and Nobles and those kind of places too, but I know Barnes and Noble online and Amazon online, it's available there. And we have a, a website also where there's video and other stuff, and you can order the book there. It's engagewithhonor.com. Okay. Engagewithhonor.com. Pretty simple. All right. Engagewithhonor.com. Once again, thank you, uh, Lee Ellis, for your service and sacrifice for our country, and thanks for your time this morning. Well, thank you, Neil.